What's going on, everybody? I just figured uh, we'd get straight into the review for uh, the January 20th episode of SmackDown, uh, taking place in Detroit, Michigan, Little Caesars Arena. Overall, I thought this was a uh, decent episode. I'd say it was just a little bit above average. Um, as far as match quality, there really wasn't anything to write home about. Uh, the match of the night was by far the opening contest in the uh, SmackDown Tag Team Title Number One Contendership Tournament. Uh, we saw Drew McIntyre and Sheamus defeating the Viking Raiders in 17 minutes and 51 seconds. Uh, it was a very good match. I would give it uh, probably a four and a quarter stars. Um, I thought from bell to bell it was very hard hitting and uh, it, was, it was a very well, uh, well planned out match. Uh, the next match was a squash. L.A. Knight defeating Brent Jones in 37 seconds. Uh, I think they're just kind of getting L.A. Knight a win here and a promo heading into uh, Smack or not SmackDown, heading into the Royal Rumble. Um, we did get a cool segment with uh, Bray Wyatt bringing back the Firefly uh, Funhouse, so that was pretty cool to see. Uh, there were three more matches on the card. Uh, in the same tournament, we had Hit Row defeating Los Lotharios in 2 minutes and 46 seconds. Nothing real exciting happened in that match. Just kind of an average match. Uh, and then Imperium defeated the Brawling Brutes in 9 minutes and 14 seconds. Uh, again, for the number one contendership tournament. Uh, it was another first round match. It was a decent match. I'd give it probably two and three quarter stars or three. Eh, I'll give it three stars out of five. Uh, overall, it was a fairly solid match. And main event was Legato Del Fantasma uh, defeating Maximum Male Models in three minutes. Uh, I really do enjoy the Maximum Male Models gimmick um, with Masse and Mansoor. Uh, gives both of them something to do, and they're entertaining to watch, I will say. Um, and Maxine Dupree does a great job uh, as their manager as well. Um, so overall, it was, uh, it was an okay match. only went three minutes long. Main event segment, we saw uh, the contract signing for the Royal Rumble match with uh, Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns. Uh, Roman would come out with Paul Heyman and uh, Solo Sokoa. Kevin Owens would blindside uh, Sokoa, throw him out of the ring, and uh, give Roman a pop-up powerbomb uh, through the table would scurry through the crowd uh, as Sami Zayn finally got to the ring and uh, Zayn and Owen stared at each other. Uh, definitely an intriguing story going on there. Uh, maybe Sami's alliance with the bloodline isn't as intact uh, as what a lot of people thought it was. Overall, I thought it was a pretty good, uh, pretty good ending for the episode. Um, and uh, gives a lot of heat going into the Royal Rumble. Um, I will be coming out with the Raw 30th Anniversary uh, episode review here. And uh, uh, should be uploaded to the channel here in a couple hours after this. Uh, so look forward to that. And uh, thank you very much for uh, listening and watching the video.